Hello and welcome to my channel. I've been seeing some questions online about what planet was out by the moon. And I wanted just to show you guys that it's pretty simple. Just download an app and turn on your phone. I mean, turn on the app and it will tell you. And that it was this is the same planet I saw as everyone else pointed out. It's it's Mars. We might even see Uranus tonight. You know, I don't know. It's pretty close to the moon, and you know, it's moon, the moon's light might drown it out. You no, know, the sunlight reflecting off the moon might drown out Uranus. Uranus's light reflecting. All right, so. I wanted to give you a little tour of the ecliptic plane and that is let me see if I can clear that other line okay good it's the yellow dotted line and as you can see along that line you've got Venus and did I miss anybody over here uh, Uranus the moon Venus there's the Sun Mercury And I know up here we got Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. Neptune. And there you go. Now, as you can see, all the moons and planets are on, and the sun are all on the same plane. They aren't moving really at all. I mean, the closest thing to us that is moving the fastest is the moon and it only moves six degrees every night so it's mainly just how we see the planets and the moons and the Sun go through our skies because the earth is turning on its axis that provides us night and day and look here you go see we're gonna go around the earth is spinning on its axis you know okay this is how it works. It isn't them orbiting us. I think that seems to be some confusion. So how we see everything in the sky is our perception of us spinning by it. Okay, that and I'm not saying I support rise first, sets first everything should rise and set in the exact same orientation just to be clear now the cool thing about this app and you can look at it so you can you know you have a question it's pretty good for that but the great thing about it is you don't even need to leave your house and not that I suggest you don't leave your house but it's cool Okay, so uh, there's my next thing I'm going to show you is, let's get lined up to the same here, okay? This is the location from our perspective where the sun will rise. Uh, see, there you go, there's east. I mean, it's only us, the ball, spinning by everything. That's how we're looking at it. So when it's sunrise, the sun from our perception will be right here in the east exactly right okay so ah, I got distracted oh okay as and pay attention to the ecliptic plane direction it's angled the dot, dotted yellow yellow line okay now because of, as I turn back to the computer because this is looking at due east actually it's GPS locating close enough to give me compass readings you know north south east west so uh compare this dotted yellow line okay hold on and i'm gonna move i'm just in an office chair see the see the difference uh let's see if i can get it obviously the double yellow line is a totally different totally different angle and right there you can see 
east in the sun. I took this the other morning, uh, as you can see, on the 3rd. This is when I made the video, more proof Earth is on its side. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see Leo very well. Leo is part of it here, and then the flat edge, and then like, like it's like a horse head, but obviously it's not. I don't know. Anyways. Okay, let's go back to switch back, and then I'm going to go back in the live feed of the app. See the double yellow, I mean the yellow dash line? Totally different angle now. When I'm taking compass readings and I'm showing you guys that, uh, that's what we're that's what we're looking for. How the the Earth is wobbling, and the wobble is not the cause of the Moon cartwheeling. It's because the Earth is far enough on its side. Basically, the Earth is tilted on its side, so that's why everything on the ecliptic plane that should not cartwheel is. I'm not talking about everything up here at North. That should... Now follow the stars on this one. See? Everything should do that. Okay? That's normal. We're not saying that. That it's not. But... Everything here... Should never... Turn like everything up here. Because... It's on the side. Not up top. So... It should not cartwheel. I mean, sorry, it should. I mean, it should not. Correct. It should not cartwheel. And we have photogra photographic proof of Jupiter with its moons. Uh, obviously, we there's thousands and thousands of pictures of the moon doing it. You know, the sun can be documented as well uh, with sunspots. And we're working on that one thanks to James Pickett. He's the man. On that one. And there's, yeah, Leo the lion. And so that means uh, we're still in Leo for the zodiac sign, if you're wanting to know. But it's September 7th. I don't remember when the. We're supposed to change over to uh, probably Virgo. Either Virgo or. Hmm. Anyways. The next point is right here. We're, we're coming up on uh, the fall equinox. September 21st is generally the day, day or, you know, a day before, day after, doesn't matter. Well, that means that in Earth's tilt, you know, procession, technically, the Earth is tilting 23 degrees each side of the equator. Here, let me let me let me correct it for you as it should be. Okay, this should ecliptic plane should be flat minus the 23 degree tilt for our seasons. But here, let me correct it for how it is now. Do you see something wrong there? Yes, this is an app, but the, the information is because of all the planets. And all, I mean, come on. I think they can get a simple little app correct enough to prove the point. Here, so let me correct it. Remember, the ecliptic plane should be flat. I'm going to go around as we should see everything, but it's not. Because at this time of year, this happens twice a year, uh, spring and fall equinoxes, because at the solstices, the winter and summer solstices, uh, we will be at the northernmost point. The sun is directly pointing at the, well, the earth is directly pointing at the sun 23 degrees north. Oops. And then for us in the Northern Hemisphere, it's 23 degrees south for Southern Hemisphere summer. Okay, so spring and fall, it's here. Um, here, I'll just do it this way. This is Northern Hemisphere summer. Spring, fall for the globe. 
winter for winter summer for the globe the sun's down below the our horizon you know in a sense i'm just trying to point that out and you all you gotta do is look at temperate zones versus uh tropical zones the tropical zones is where the sun is pretty much always pointing at it all time of the year and then the temperate zones we live in is where we don't ever get direct sunlight from the sun it's always at an angle that's that's your season lesson all right so it should be here but yet this is how it actually is so proof again the earth is still on its side and you can easily take a frame a screenshot and just measure from the horizon line which is going to be sea level to that the actual ecliptic plane and figure out exactly how many degrees we're at right now but remember everything still on the ecliptic plane is cartwheeling it is getting it is getting erratic we are seeing pictures of it getting quite erratic and you know but we we just stick to northern hemisphere clockwise cartwheels for everything on the ecliptic and southern hemispheres counterclockwise or anti-clockwise for everything on your ecliptic i wish i could show you leo as you can see leo's body here the the way it's turning see it's kind of head down there um but in the picture here i'm waiting for that to go away see his head up see it doesn't matter the time of day for us the space isn't changing in 12 hours everything is always our perception of everything outside our planet because this is all we're doing except now we're doing it this way so if you're looking left what is all that doing over what is all that doing over there it's cartwheeling. All right. Hope everyone is enjoying their Labor Day weekend. Let's, tomorrow is Monday and it's Labor Day, so kick back and enjoy your day.